What I'd like for you to do, sir, is please state your name and where you're from. I am Howard W. Piper, and I'm from the Pittsburgh area. Spell now, your name for me. Just just spell, your spell, your spell, your name. spell your last name. P F E I F E R. And, and Howard, you had a special day yesterday. Yes. You and turned were, what age? Howard. You have to help me, Nancy. 98. 98. Oh, yeah, 98. That's right. Okay. It's hard to remember. It's a lot of years. It certainly is. Now, let me ask you this. During World War II, how many trips did you make across the Atlantic? Oh, gosh. Uh, you know, on, I, four? Yeah. Now, on those, on those voyages, um, did you see any ships being torpedoed? Oh, yes, yes, yes. And, and let me ask you this. How many, um, have you ever been close to a torpedo? Yes, yes. And, and tell me that experience. Well, uh, I don't know what, I had, made a number of trips, so uh, it was a constant uh, situation. Okay. Where you were always, of course, uh, uh, what in a position where you they were after us mm -hmm. because we were delivering the goods and that's what they were trying to stop. And let me ask you this: Can you name one of the ships that you were on? Oh, uh, David B. Johnson. Okay. Yeah. You have another ship that you've. Oh gosh. Um, you know what? Well. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, 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 I'm having a little bit of problems co coming up with them. Yeah, just relax, take your time. You know, it's it's nice some things. You, you can say a few things. It's okay, okay. Howard. Exhibitor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Exhibitor and uh, David B. Johnson. David B. Johnson. And uh, I, uh, that's, that's, that's good. That's, yeah, that's yeah. That's good. Now, let me ask you this. Where were you, where were your destinations? Where were you bringing the goods to? Well, uh, in, in a number of cases, well, we we were in, like I was in Iran. Okay. And uh, uh, I, I was at Omaha Beach okay. for the invasion. I mean, that was the big one mm -hmm. because we took a ship there that was built for World War I. It was a piece of junk and that was the point. We got to the beach. When we got to the beach, we rammed it into the beach, got it turned sideways, dropped off four anchors. It became a dock for the incoming uh, other ships and other, uh, our other supplies. And well, let me ask you this. How old were you at this time? Well, I guess I was 18. Uh, I was around 18. 18 years old. Yeah. Now let me ask, uh, was D-Day, were you right there at the, at the... I was at the Omaha Beach for the invasion. Right there. Out On the beach, in okay, fact, June, that's June with 6th. that ship. Yeah. We took the ship, when, when they got, when, we, when our forces got, the Germans pushed back somewhat. On this old ship we were on, we took it and rammed it into the beach, got it turned sideways, dropped off four anchors, and that was the purpose for it because it was such an old ship. It was just a piece of junk. It became a dock Very good. for our incoming uh, no. ships. I got to ask you, what did it feel like? I mean, I don't know about you, but Ramming a ship into a beach sounds just <laughs> totally m Hollywood movie, whole nine yards. Yeah, well, the interesting thing is that I had this dear friend from Ohio who was four years or five years older uh, than me who had some more experiences because of what he was doing. And even when we were s sent down with the information to where we could go to get on the ship, we arrived there and he was with me and all this confusion with the ships and everything, he said, 
Howard, is that the ship? That's, he said, that's a piece of junk. That won't get out of the harbor. I said, what are you talking about, Ely? He said, listen to me. It's a piece of junk, I can tell. He from Mohai and uh -huh. been on some ships and like I said, a little more experience. I said, well, what about it? With that, we were at the dock. The captain was at the, at the top of the gangway. He spoke up, he said, are you people, uh, deck people? Uh, yes, sir. He said, great, come aboard. He said, we gotta move this thing this afternoon. And Yui looked at me and I looked at him and I said, I guess this is us, you know, we're, we're gonna do this. So that was it, there was nothing else to talk about. We got on the ship and we did what we were told to do. And like I said, thank God he was just enough older than me and had the experience from Ohio and everything. So we become long, lifelong friends oh, until he, till he passed away. But that was our, the first ship. And like I said, it was a piece of junk. Now, the, when, when, you when did you find out that you were gonna ram it into the beach? That's what I was thinking. Oh, <laughs> well, naturally they didn't let you know what was happening. All I know was, is like I said, when we got to the dock and saw this ship that we were assigned to, and Eugene said to me, is that, that's the ship, that's a piece of junk, that won't get out of the harbor, that was his term. I said, why, and it was all planned. They knew what they were doing, they weren't telling us, but that was it from the beginning. We were gonna take that ship, and when we got to the, to the invasion, we rammed it into the beach, got it turned sideways, dropped off four anchors, it became a dock. Yeah. Now let me ask you this. Yeah. When you saw the ship going into the beach, what yes. were you thinking at that time? You're saying, whoa. Yeah, well, it came to, everything was coming to, to mind then. Now we know we're on this old ship, and now we know what we're doing, and that's what's gonna happen. And what's going to happen after this, we'll find were you, out. Were you nervous when you saw the ship going in? Well, yeah, it was a little upsetting because they didn't give us instructions about that was what was going to happen. And so when we did the ram that got it turned and all this confusion, and hey, the bombing's going on and uh, all this is where it, where we're at the, where, whatever, what are all the action is. Yeah, sure. And so, uh, it, uh, then, of course, uh, they came alongside after we got this into the beach and turned and the anchors dropped and everything. We get off and get into these other uh, small vessels that were going to take us someplace where we got to get off the ship. That's it. It's going to be a dock. Well, where did they take you? Well, uh, it, that was interesting in itself. We're out there for the better part of an hour and all our crew on this ship and our captains. Were you all merchant marines? Yeah, on this ship, on a, a Navy ship, a little small vessel that was to take us. And the captain says to this, the, in char the guy in charge, where are you taken? He says, well, I have instructions. He said, but with the confusion, I can't find the <laughs> person. The cap our captain said, you better find something pretty quick. We're standing in two foot of water on the ship. And he said, I, I, I understand that. So uh, we were bouncing back and forth and well, the war's going on, come on, it's the invasion. So at some point the captain said, what are you, we're gonna drown in this damn thing if you don't do something. He said, I guess I'm gonna have to take you to the shore, and he did that. He took us to the shore, we all got off. We're at the invasion. So we're all together, we're all our group with all our gear and everything else. Let me else. ask you this, you had no weapons? Oh, no, 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 no we didn't have any you were weapons. You just virgin marines. Virgin no, marine. No, you're out of the water, now you're on land. We're on land. Well, what was the next step after well, that? Well, he said, the captains tried to keep everybody together. We're supposed to get on, a, somebody's there because here it's the invasion sure we're supposed to somebody's supposed to get us somewhere and take us somewhere and i thought we're but right now like i said we had a 
go ashore or that we were gonna drown out there in his whistle. I said, so what the captain said, everybody sort of keep together here, hey, it's the invasion, and sure. we're there at the invasion site. I say to my friend, Huey, we're here, why don't we check things out? He said, why do you always want to be checking things <laughs> out, Howard? Can't you just, I said, well, it is, you know, we'd be nice. And he said, okay, what do you want to, and he was a big guy, and said, no, he's a big, strong guy. I said, I see some stuff up there, some action on a hill. Why don't we walk up part way? It was a, a gun emplacement, a German gun emplacement on the shore. Yep. And, but by that time, they had been, they were gone. We had, our people had had them gone. But I remember, like it was yesterday, we walk up to this pillbox. We go in the pillbox, we're in there. And here comes our, one of our uh, army guys. He said, what the hell are you people doing here? <laughs> I said, well, we're the Marshal Marine. I said, we just got off the ship. I said, we scuttled our ship, you know. Oh, yeah, well, I know all about that, but what are you doing there? I said, well, I thought we might as well look around. He said, you look around, you're going to get yourself shot. So he said, it's not a good idea. You better get the hell back and get back uh, to with your group. So we did do that. We went back and we were on several little vessels because with the confusion of the invasion, sure. naturally, things were just a mess Came to on. try to try to find you some someplace, yeah. and uh, we finally did get on another small vessel, and they took us back to where we would uh, could get ourselves to, 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 to you know get us back to England, really, yeah, okay, and uh, but. A lot of confusion, and I'll remember the thing, never forget it, about going into that pillbox and looking around and then this, and then, but uh, it, uh, from there, of course, they took us there and they moved us several places and we did get back. Were you happy to get back to England? Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> I bet you were. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You have enough? And yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, a that's an incredible story. story. And, and, and in fact, uh, we came back on a large vessel that they had a number of uh, injured, our forces that they were oh, bringing yeah, back, like wounded, bringing yeah. back to the States, that's right. Yeah, that's crucial. Okay. Yeah. That's crucial. Yeah. That's yeah. 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 But uh, it, that whole, in fact, we, uh, we came back on a transport, a large vessel with injured, our yeah. injured. Wounded uh, veterans. Yeah, veterans. Yeah, 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 they, they yeah. brought them back. Now, let me ask you this, when you were, when you were going in to, into Omaha Beach, mm -hmm. you're in the ship now, mm -hmm. that you're gonna scuttle, right. okay? What was it, what did, what did the scene look like around you? Well, of course, there was too much, tremendous. Did you see? Did oh, you yeah, see there was. Fire? Did oh, you my see God, us? constant. Yeah, no, there was constant yes. bomb bear. Uh, the, because, like I said, there was, it, they were bringing our forces yeah. in. Constant. Yeah, to occupy and to. to so it, you, you had the scope when you were on that ship coming in yeah. that you were going to hit the shore. You're looking out at all these, all this action. And right. I, I couldn't imagine being an 18 year old <laughs> seeing that. I, I mean, what did you feel at that time when you saw all that? Were you, were you, did you have fear? Did you, or did you just were young and you figured, you know? Well, I think that's it. Uh, since like nobody was shooting at us, because like you said, we had got their forces back yeah. far enough. So there was a lot of confusion Tremendous confusion, but you you had to do what you had to do, uh -huh. and our the plans they knew what they were doing with that old ship that yeah. we were on. They knew what was going to happen. We weren't the only one. They did that with a number of other vessels where they had to come in, like you say, make a make what would be a dock. Now, Howard, did you see any planes in the air? Oh, constant. Yeah, there were constant because. Our forces are still, uh, our military forces are coming in and we're still there. And so 
they were back, but as they were coming back, they were still coming at you. They, they had it. They continued to do that. So there was a, a lot of a lot of that going on, and a lot of confusion. But I'll never Thank forget. I never on. forget till I till I die when we were when the GI came up to Eugene and I and said, <laughs> what, what, what the hell are you people doing? <laughs> he could see. He knew we were were. were and I, hey, I, well, I remember like it was, I said, hey, I thought we were here. We'd look around. He said, you keep looking around. You'll get yourself shot. You were shot. like a tourist. Yeah, yeah. He said, you'll get yourself 